If you're looking for something to do this Juneteenth, the Montgomery Biscuits are back at home tonight against the Birmingham Barons after beating them last night up at Rickwood Field in Birmingham. Joining us in studio is Biscuits General Manager Mike Murphy. First, I want to talk about that game mm -hmm. last night and that experience learned during that game that the great Willie Mays had died. Yeah. The time where we're paying tribute to him. What was that experience? Yeah, like? it was wild. I was actually standing in a pavilion that was named the Willie Mays Pavilion when they made the announcement. It was, it was very powerful. Um, you know, if you saw some of the videos, I mean, they, they made the announcement during the game and the entire crowd erupted afterwards. And um, it, was, it was, again, very powerful to be in the place where his professional career started and uh, mm -hmm. to, you know, to find out about his passing. But, um, you know, to, to be able to honor all that he's done for the game. Um, and that was kind of one of the main things behind us playing at Rickwood was really to pay tribute to, to the Negro Leagues and Willie Mays. Um, so it was sad, incredibly sad, but great to be a part of that event and, and pay tribute to Willie as, as he should be. It's certainly a great loss. I know he wanted to be in Birmingham for those mm -hmm. events and he yeah. unfortunately couldn't. This was a special moment already. Was it even more special? To, to be there. This yeah, week. no, absolutely. I mean, um, you know, all week long, um, you know, being up at Rickwood and being able to kind of take in the history of it and be able to be a part of the event that Major League Baseball was putting on, and, and you know, some some of the you know the the, the fine touches and, and details that they did to put into this event. Um, Willie's son was was actually present at the event um, earlier in the day. I don't know if he was there uh, during our game, but um, you know, being able to speak to some of the Negro League players that were still living in the Birmingham area, Bob Kendrick, who runs the Negro League Baseball Museum in, in Kansas City, and talking to them and uh, be able to hear some of the powerful stories mm -hmm. about what those guys went through and guys like Willie Mays to be able to go from the Negro Leagues to playing and making such an impact in Major League Baseball. And pave the way for the players today. You're back home. Absolutely. Tonight, Absolutely. right? Yeah, yeah, we're home tonight. Uh, Six thirty-five start time. It's our Juneteenth celebration tonight. Um, so we'll be uh, paying tribute to the Montgomery Gray Sox all week long. So um, you know, last night we were wearing uniforms that looked like they were from the nineteen twenties. Uh, tonight we're and tonight, Friday and Sunday, we're going to be wearing special jerseys that we've created uh, to kind of say like, what if the Montgomery Gray Sox were still a minor mm -hmm. league team? So there'll be a little bit more. Uh, they won't be throwback uniforms, but they will pay um, pay tribute to the. Montgomery Gray Sox. So again, we'll be wearing those tonight. Uh, tomorrow we have a tank top giveaway for the first thousand fans, 15 and over, that has that Gray Sox logo on it. On Friday we have a replica jersey giveaway um, that is that Gray Sox jersey presented by the Montgomery Regional Airport. That one is for adults on Friday, and we'll have the same jersey giveaway on Sunday for kids presented by Hyundai Motor Manufacturing. Anything special for the fans tonight as part of this game? Yeah, so we'll be, obviously we'll be paying tribute to Willie Mays um, before the game. Um, we'll be uh, working with the Alabama State Athletic Department. Um, they'll be involved with tonight's game. Um, we'll have also partnering with the Players Alliance. So if you have some young kids that, that are coming out, the Players Alliance has a goal of getting kids involved in baseball and really teaching them some of the skills. Um, we'll have a kind of a mobile trailer um, out in right field next to the ASE Club Car Bar um, where kids can go through and they'll help you get fitted for the, the right size bat, the right size glove, teach you how to throw certain pitches. So um, things that we can do to get more kids involved with the game of baseball. You were talking about when we were young, he just everybody shared a bat. Everybody right. shared a helmet. Yeah. But, that but, guy hit but a home bat. Yeah. 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 But the bats are very important. Yeah. All that equipment is very important. So it's nice to get that that feedback. Yeah, right. and absolutely. And these are all former professional players. This foundation was started by CC Sabathia and Curtis Granderson, two major league players. So um, we're actually the first minor league team that they're going to be activating at. So they've only been at major league stadiums and um, at you know big major league events like All Star Games, World Series. So we're we're very honored to have them join us for this week. How can fans get those tickets? For the yeah, biscuitsbaseball.com is where you can get all your tickets and more information about all the promotions we have going on all week. We know it's hot out there, but you have some nice tweets yeah, out there to keep everybody cool. Absolutely. Dip and Doss will take care of everything. Mike, thank you so much for joining us. We thank appreciate you. it.